All right. I know it's been a while since I did a fucking uh, movie review. And I'm supposed to uh, stop swearing. I'm trying to cut myself from swearing. I feel like I swear too much in these videos. And off off online, too, also. I feel like I do too much of that. But it took me a while to do this, you know, uh, hard target review. It's like a 30th anniversary of this movie. And that's why a lot of people uh, request me to do a review on this. And I'm like, you know, that's fine because I have the Blu-ray of Hard Target. I mean, that's, that's no problem. I just popped it in and started watching the movie. And, you know, it's still a classic, you know. It's a great action film, one of the greatest action films of all time, one of the greatest action films of the 90s. And a lot of people did probably forget about this movie. I'm not 100% sure, but it's definitely an underrated film. Definitely not overrated. Way far from that. So... We all know how this movie goes, you know. So, this is Hard Target. And I know a lot of people haven't seen this movie. And you're missing out because, like I said, this is a really great action film. Because this is directed by one of the greatest action directors of all time. And he is the king of, of making action films. John freaking Woo. John Woo been making action films since the 80s. And, yeah, he went down the drain after a while in, like, the 2000s. Face Off, I thought I thought that was overrated, though, Face Off. I didn't really thought that movie was that, really that great. Because I heard he wanted to get Sylvester Stallone and Arnold Schwarzenegger to be in that movie, but they said no. Then he started to get, get some of other famous actors to play against each other, and they said no. And that's why he went down to uh, Nicolas Cage and the other fucking guy. I can't remember his name. And I still said the F word. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's it's tough. It's fucking it's, uh, it's freaking tough, damn it. It's freaking tough. I've been doing it my whole life and swearing, so it's been take a while for me to get stop myself from swearing, which that's never going to happen probably. But yeah, uh that would happen and that's why one of the movies that's why one reason why it wasn't really that great because he couldn't get Stallone and Arnold to be in that movie. And that's a shame because that would have been a really awesome action movie. Uh, you know what? Maybe not because the writing wasn't really that great in that movie, Face Off. To me, I thought I thought the movie was like, just okay at best. I didn't really thought it was that great. It's nothing like a uh, Hard Target or Hard Boiled or uh, what's the other movie I liked with uh, Chow Yun Fat? Was, was that another one I liked? I didn't really like the killer because the ending was just I didn't really like the ending because it's really stupid to me. I thought it was pretty disappointing. Oh yeah, he had the other one. No, no one remembers two of them that nobody remembers, and I forgot the name of what it was. And it's like one of them is with Chow Yun Fat, and I think it's about them stealing a paint or something like that. Not paint, like a a, a freaking uh yeah paint. Let's say he they, they steal art paints and shit. I forgot what that one was called, and th that was underrated. No one talks about that movie, and the other one that was I think it's called Bull in the Head. That's what it was called, I think. That's not an underrated one he made. But after that, after the, all the movies made in the 80s and 90s, yeah, he had some, I think, some uh, alright films in the 2000s. One of them was called Payback. I still never watched that one. That was with Ben Affleck. I still never seen that one. I still never seen it. But people say it was pretty good, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe one day I'll watch that, but not right now. I just don't have enough time to watch all these freaking movies, man. I just, I'm always busy with shit now. Yeah, once again, I swear it again. So, Hard Target. So, this movie is st star Sean Claude Van Damme, Yancey Butler, uh, the, uh, the Quaker Oats guy. I forgot what his freaking name was. Uh, this old guy. What was his freaking name? This bald old guy. Oh, I, I keep forgetting his freaking name. I gotta look it up on the uh, stupid... Uh, they call it Wikipedia or something. I don't think people even use Wikipedia anymore. They just go on Google and they just pops up and their goofy faces just pops up right with the movie. There we go. Hard target. Uh, oh, yeah. No, wait. That's not it. Hang on a second. I got to look at the whole cast. What the hell's going on out there? This thing's like slow. Well, there it goes. Wilford Brimley. That's a guy. That's a, that's a quicker oats guy. I say quick Quaker Oats guy because he was in a couple of Quaker Oats commercials. That's why I call him that. And there's another actor that looked just like him. And I forgot what his name was. I think it was from uh, Walker, Texas Ranger. I think it was CD. 
Because CD looked just like Wilford Brimley. And also, Wilford Brimley was in Walker, Texas Ranger, and he gets killed off in that. Sorry, I spoiled it for you. You know, the show's old as hell. And it came out, that show came out the same year as Hard Target, so just let you know on that one. But anyways, uh, what else? Um, <clears throat> oh, yeah, uh, Lance Hyrickson, he plays the bad guy. He's like, he's like one of the best parts of this movie. And the other guy, Arnold Volsolo, you remember him from uh, the Mummy movie? You remember he was like the bad guy in there too. He's like the Mummy, and he was in uh, that Frankie Muniz movie. <laughs> nobody, gives, nobody gives a shit about that movie, though. <laughs> Agent Cody Bakes. I'm like, what the hell is he doing in this movie? Agent Cody Bakes. I guess the director's a big fan of uh, Hard Target, huh? Nah, you know he's probably a big fan, more a bigger fan of the Mummy or something. You know, I, I don't mind the action in the Mummy, but. Yeah, I like the action in the moment, but it, it kind of drags a little bit to me. I'm not, I don't know, I have seen the movie in a long time. I mean, he doesn't drag, I don't know. But I really like Brendan Fraser in there. He's like he's like, a, he's like the right actor to play that role. I'm glad uh, Tom Cruise didn't take that role back then. You know, he did the, the remake of the Mummy movie, and that was like pretty awful. That's why I heard. I never watched it, because a lot of people said it was awful. I was like, you know, I'm not going to watch it. I'm good. But anyway, let's go back to this movie. So the story is basically about uh, Yancey Butler. Her dad gets killed by these guys that are uh, going after him and killing him because he's one of their targets. They got kill or something like that. So Yancey Butler walks around the, the well, walks around. She like drives around the neighborhood looking for help, looking to hire somebody to go take down uh, these these people that kill her father, and she went to talk to this black dude and black dude. I think she's like look for this army dude or something like that, and she was like, "Oh, he he's already dead." The, the black guy told her or some shit like that. I think. Then she starts walking around. She goes to his restaurant, and, and there's Van Dam there wearing his uh, his long mullet, and he got this cool black trench coat. I always wanted one of those trench coats. I, get, I can never find them on freaking eBay. I gotta try to get one of those one day. Wear those for the for the fall or something. So the next day what happens, you know, Yancey Butler goes out to her car and she gets attacked by these thugs trying to do some, some uh, I think they're trying to try, like, rape her or something. And then uh, Van Damme comes out and starts kicking her ass in the most be best action sequences possible. Like, I, I love the way John Woo sh shoots these action scenes. You got all these fucking, these freaking dubs flying in the air and you got these slow motion kicks and these badass gun shootings and shit. Like, boom, 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 boom. It's like slow motion, too. Like, there's, there's scenes where they go in slow motion in the right time. Like, he, he positions the, 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 the scenes in the right time. And a lot of directors don't even do, like, the way John Woo does it. He shoots it at the right time in the right position of every time Van Tam kicks or shoots guns or other guys shoots guns. He shoots it at the right time. And directors just don't know how to do it like he does it. I mean... There are other great action directors like John Woo, like, you know, um, what's another guy? Uh, Walter Hill. He, he, he's another good one that makes uh, great action films like, you know, Extreme Prejudice, The Warriors, you know. He's telling you one of my other favorite directors besides John Woo. And he's he's don't have like like slow motion stuff like uh like John Woo does, but he his action scenes are sup really good, just like John Woo's, but not superior not superior as John Woo's though. I just wish this generation was more like you know, have see you know, the talent like John Woo to make action films look great again. It, it gotta be somebody out there in this world who has potential to make movies great. Just like John Woo, the way he shoots these action scenes and the way that is done. But sadly, we haven't found that type of person yet. You know, we haven't seen that type of person yet. But let's go back to the film. So he kicks the dog's ass. He gives her purse back to Yancey Butler. And then she decides she's going to hire him. But he, the first time she asked, she asked him, he declined it because he's not looking to do that. But he's trying to get a boat. And the guy says, you need more money to get a boat. So you want to sail. So he decides to go back to her. He's like, all right, pay me for two days for $200. Like, like 217 or something like that he needs. So he can get, get that boat. She was like, all right, I, that's no problem. So then that happens. And she like she talks to this uh, this uh, black cop or something like that. And she's like, she was, like blowing a cake candle or something. I didn't really pay attention to that part. I was like, what the f Why she put a cake in her... her uh, her desk. Well, why is she put it in there? You know, she's gonna set her, all her papers on fire. What? What? Anyways, uh, 
Yeah, that was pretty stupid. Anyways, so that happened, and the goal talked to this this fat slob guy, uh, Van Dam, and uh, Nancy Butler talked to him, asked well, what what happened to the the father, this and that, her father, and you know the Art of uh, Vosolo like in the other room, he's like he's looking, and he's like, don't tell her I'm kick your ass, but they still do anyway. So kick his fat ass anyways, and like the next thing you start beating him up and shit. So later on, you know, Lance Henriksen and all his boys go after this black dude, you know, the guy used to, you know, the guy used to be uh, in the army and stuff like that. They go after him and they took his ass out. And then they go after, uh, they kill that cop lady and then they, they go, go after uh, Yancey Butler and uh, Van Dam, and they, they drive off the motorcycle. Yeah, this crazy, uh, you know, action sequence on the, uh, on the highway. They start shooting and shit. That's another, another great scene they had right there. Like I said, every action scene in this movie is terrific. Like, amazing like you like i said you don't see shit like this anymore in the 80s and 90s they had a lot of great action films that are done very very well now you look at today you see how bad the action films are today all they care about is making it is superhero crap or what well, some fairy tale bullshit like uh the little mermaid remake or something that, that, that's all it is today that's uh, that's all these freaking nerds care about oh yeah and barbie the barbie movie i'll never review that never that's never gonna happen all i'm gonna do in that review is bitch and bitch that's uh, that, that's all it's gonna be about me i'm just gonna bitch about the whole review it's it's no point in me doing a review about it it's gonna be just five minutes of me just bitching about it and that's it i just turn the video off but anyways yeah like this generation only cares about making superhero movies and crappy horror films and crappy fairy tales they don't make you know regular action movies anymore or you know put it out there i mean there there were some uh, good action films come out this year like playing with uh Gerard butler or operation fortune with uh jason statham those movies were great but oh yeah and john wick 4 we can't we can't, we can't uh, john wick 4 we can't forget about that that's basically about it after that, you got all these crappy superhero movies, uh, Blue Beetle or, or that Ninja Turtles movie. Was, that was pretty god awful. I did a review on that two weeks ago. Who just says on my channel two weeks ago? So, yeah, it's been two weeks. Like I said, I I just it just took a break. It's just I'm so so bored doing reviews all the time. It's the same crap. All I want to do with these modern movies, all I want to do is just bitch and moan about it. I ever watch this Hard Target and watch all those crap. God. Like, this movie is basically Jesus Christ compared to movies of this generation. Basically. This movie is basically Jesus Christ. So, what, what the fuck happened next? Oh, yeah, they go to this, uh, they go through this forest. Uh, freaking Van Damme grabs this, uh, this snake behind Yancey Butler. He's like, snatched it behind, behind her back. He, bam, hits it, hit the snake in the face. She's like, shocked. Like, oh, what the, f what the fuck happened? Where, where'd that snake come from? He just, he just, he just grabs that shit fast, like the Flash or some shit. She just, bah, just hits it, kills it. Just, or, or he just probably just knocks it out. Then, you know, uh, Van Damme and Yancey Butler go meet, uh, like I said, uh, the Quaker, Quaker Oats guy. He meets him, Whitworth Brimley, and he shoots, like, arrows and shit. I'm like, wow, like, old man shooting arrows and shit. That's, that's, that's pretty badass. So all these, uh, Lance Henriksen and his goons that he hired, his new goons he hired to go after, uh, Van Dam and the girl and uh, the old man, and the out uh, is this big shootout, and it's like one of the like I said, it's, it, like every action scene in this movie is great. I love every scene in this movie. It's just awesome, man. It's just nonstop action. And that's how action we should be about. Not all this soap opera shit they have now. All they do is just sit around and <laughs> I hate that. Where's the freaking action in this movie? That's how I'd be like this modern movies. They just sit around, they cry all day instead of fucking doing something. And I'm still saying the F word, so cussing like a freaking maniac. I'm trying my best. I'm trying. Anyways, so yeah, all that happens, and they go in the uh, the warehouse full of this all this old carnival crap or something like that. All these old fucking uh, cardboards, uh, shitty paintings or something. I don't know. And it's like one of the best scenes they have in there with all the shooting going on and whatnot. I like I love every scene with all the shooting, especially the part he, he had this fight against uh, Arnold Vosolo from uh, the Mummy. He had a fight with that dude. That, that, that's like one of the best parts, so especially like he slides uh, uh, slides on the ground and starts shooting him uh, uh, under the desk, like <laughs> that like a slow motion. It's like uh, uh, uh. like that, like like I said, it's just so awesome watching this shit. 
Like you can never stop watching this. You can watch this, this over and over again. It'll never get old. It'll never get old. Like you're eating like cereal that tastes good forever. It just it never gets old. It never gets fucking old. Ah damn! Like like I said, I remember watch movies from the eighties and nineties and watch anything from now, or even movies from from the two thousands. I watch movies from the two thousand to watch movies now. I I hate movies in th- this generation. I hate it. That is why you don't see me upload anything anymore. I mean, I could do just like, you know, different reviews that's not movies. I could do like regular topics and shit. But what's the point? You know, I'm, I'm fucking bored doing this type of stuff, you know. Maybe once in a while I'll come around and make, you know, a couple of videos and just probably just disappear again for a couple of weeks. And then come back again and make more couple of videos and disappear again. I keep doing back and forth like I'm on I'm, uh, Danny Vanham or something, you know. That's probably what I'm, basically what I'm going to do. So I guess uh, I'll talk about the final fight. I guess uh, so he uh, he shoves a uh, uh, a grenade down Lance Henriks' pants and, and blows his cock off. And the end, he just dies. Okay, that's not, that's not really what happened, but you know what happened, to Lance Henriks. he gets he he blows up. The grenade blows up. He tried to, to turn off the grenade and it, it didn't work, and he just blows up and dies. That's what happens. And they're like, oh wow, well, that was that was fucking easy. And movie ends with credits of, you know, the music playing was Credence. What a great way to hear one of the greatest bands of all time playing in the end credits. It was great. Let's listen to that song. Oh, man. I, I love Credence. I listen to Credence all the time. Great, great freaking band, man. But anyways, that's it for this review. You know, this movie's a classic. You know, it's the 30th anniversary of this movie. So why not review it? You know, this movie came out 30 years ago. So the way I talk about it, then instead of talking about some shitty superhero movie that came out this year, <sighs> Blue Beetle and uh, the freaking uh, the, the Flash and all those other garbages, how about they just stop making uh, you know crappy a- superhero movies and make regular action movies again? You know, hire some hire some uh, some new martial arts guy and put him in like one of these uh, these uh, modern movies or something and get like a better director. Or fire all these people that are on writer's strike. Fire all these nerds. <laughs> 